guess where we're at? Another Harvest Host. <laughs> We've been hitting up some serious Harvest Hosts lately. This time we're at uh, Muddy Paws Rescue Farm. It's near Vincent Town, New Jersey. And uh, what they do is they rescue animals and bring them here. So they've got goats and ducks and chickens, ducks and, chickens and peacocks and burros and donkeys and horses and all kinds of stuff. It's pretty cool. It's been a nice little harvest host, but now we're getting ready to head out. It was great spending time with Jen's mom and dad and seeing Faith and all that, of course. And then uh, this morning we actually had breakfast with some friends that we've never met. And let me explain real quick. So I've been playing fantasy football for years and years and years. That back in the since the days when we used to have to hand jam their scores on paper before they they came out because there was no internet really. And anyway, a friend of mine created a website called the Hogs Trough way back when in the early 2000s. And there was a core group of us that used to play fantasy football together for years and years and years, and still do. And one of those was my friend Connie. And we just met up with her and her husband, Joe, for breakfast. Hey, guys. Yeah. For the first time, we've been playing fantasy football together for over 20 years. Never met them. And uh, they were a fantastic couple. Thanks for breakfast, by the way. They yeah, paid for you. our breakfast. Yeah, that we was awesome. sure appreciate that. And it was great meeting you guys. And uh, hopefully we can catch you on the road later on. Are you vacuuming the refrigerator? There was gnats in the refrigerator <laughs> on the bottom. So here at Thousand Trails Virginia Landing, there are gnats everywhere. Oh my gosh. It's only like 60 degrees out and we've got the whole RV sealed up and the fans on, on the air conditioners. So they're so small, they're crawling through the screens. <laughs> it's crazy. We can't have any windows open. We can't have any doors open, nothing. No food out. Yeah. And uh, so Jennifer made a few of these little concoctions here. What is, what is it? It's something I found on the internet. I guess it's like apple cider vinegar, water, and sugar, and they- Is it working? And they're attracted. And this is one of four. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yuck. And then there's one in our bathroom that's yeah. pretty full. And then we bought another thing, that Zevo. Oh, the light, let's see that. Yeah, let's see what that, that looks like right now. Flying all around. Here's what the light looks like. Look at all the bugs. And then this is the other one in the bathroom because you know the toothpaste and everything down the drain. They are Yuck. Ugh. So this thing's working pretty good. And then we keep vacuuming them up. Yeah. They're, They're so, everywhere. I mean, you can see them on this side of the screen actually. They're on the other side of the screen. Trying to escape. Oh, look at them all. Yeah. And this is nothing compared to what it was last night. When we first got here, we had everything open, and there was probably a thousand of them in so here. We had a, yeah, first night we had everything open, and then the second day we had everything open, and then last night we were like, all right. We were talking to somebody, and they said, you gotta seal it up. Just gotta seal it up. It's bad. All right, it's Red Friday, everyone. Happy Red Friday. We're getting ready to go out for the day. Finally, we're feeling better, and um, it's time to go do some more exploring. We're actually gonna go do the Chesapeake Tunnel today to Norfolk. We're gonna go scope it out before we take Large Marge across it. Um, it's only 13.6, the tunnel is, and I've read on all the forums for the 397s that many, many people have taken it through the tunnel. Semis go through the tunnel, all that. So we're just gonna go scope it out. I wanna get those warm fuzzies in the Jeep first. Go we'll get some seafood and um, drop off some donations. We're still downsizing after two and a half years of being on the road. And uh, so we still got a bunch of stuff to drop off. And um, do you need some help, babe? I need you to tie my shoe. See, see what we do for love. Certain things I still can't get, <laughs> get that position completely down. I got you, babe.
All right, so I see a big semi in front of us, so that's a good sign. And I know that uh, our friends Harold and Cindy from One Stage Adventure have taken their 399 through this tunnel. So that also gives me, you know, warm fuzzies. I still just want to see it with my own two eyes though first. <laughs> Jennifer's already freaking out. We're not even towing the RV. Uh, <laughs> we'll be fine, babe. Room. I mean, so the bridge says 13.6 max, and we're at 13.6. But that's what semis are at. And looking at the semis going through the tunnel, there was at least a good six, eight inch gap between the top of the semi and the, the roof of the tunnel. So I think we'll be just fine. If not, then um, this is going to be a really interesting video. So most of the bridge is above water. Um, no tunnel and there's like two sections that are the tunnel I'm guessing they did that for shipping lanes instead of doing drawbridges or whatever they just uh, make a couple different shipping lanes by having the vehicles go underneath it so well I feel much better after seeing all those big semis and RVs and stuff going through the tunnel so not too worried anymore maybe maybe just a little bit now it's time to get some seafood. So we are at Virginia Beach now, and we're gonna eat at Bubba's Seafood Restaurant. Yeah, we looked at one of them. There was another place that said Mason's Lobster Rolls, but... Maybe next time. Yeah, we're gonna go with this one. <sighs> well, we definitely got some good seats. Look at this. Yeah. And it smells delicious. Can't wait to chow down. Well, that was delicious. I'm stuffed. So if you find yourself at Virginia Beach, make sure you check out Bubba's Seafood Restaurant. Not to be confused with Bubba Gump Seafood Restaurant. It's totally different. Yeah. I got the crab cake, one fried and one broiled. Broiled, broiled is the way to go. And their coleslaw is... Coleslaw was amazing. Oh, amazing. Hush puppies were amazing. It's not your typical coleslaw, so no. you should definitely try it. It was delicious. Yes. So now we're going to go back down to the Virginia Beach area that we were at a couple years ago and uh, go check it out. See what it looks like now? Yeah. All right, we are at Neptune Beach. This is where we were two years ago. For you guys that have followed us like from the very beginning when we actually first started YouTube and we put out like little three minute videos here and there. They're not even listed anymore. I took them down because they were terrible. But one of them was here at Neptune Beach and Virginia Beach. So I don't know if any of y'all remember that. If you do, let us know in the comments. Look, babe, shopping. I love it. <laughs> There's Neptune. You know, we did just donate a bunch of stuff, so do I need to replace Oh, yeah, now we gotta replace everything we donated. No. <laughs> oh, look at all that beautiful sand. Last time we were here, we didn't have all these vendors and stuff though. This is, um, I don't know if they just do this on Fridays or, or what, but it was remember. completely empty last time we were here. This is kind of cool. Yeah, I like it. So we actually just stumbled upon a art show. That's what's going on here. These are all art vendors selling their art. In fact, we just talked to another full-time RVer. 
slash traveler that uh, goes around and takes uh, awesome. pictures in national parks and stuff and uh, sells them at stuff like that. So there's stuff like this. Oh, I see some horses. Oh, yeah. That's why yeah. you could ride the... I forgot that from the last time we were here that you could yeah. ride the horses on the beach. That's right. There are so many art vendors. It's pretty cool. Well, have you ever dreamed about riding a horse on a beach? Because you can do it here at Virginia Beach. Well, so Jen has been looking for a Jeep t-shirt for about six months now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's a little picky. I she am. finally got one. I'll see it. Look at that. So the Virginia Beach on there. It's purple. Cool. I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but I wear a lot of different shades of blue. Yeah. Turquoise, so I kind of wanted a purple shirt with the Jeep close to yellow, which this one is fairly close. Um, but yeah, finally. Yeah, you finally got your Jeep shirt. $13, we'll see how good the quality is. <laughs> All right, another day of exploring. It's like a couple days later after Virginia Beach, the weekend's gone by. We pretty much did nothing this weekend except watch football. Yeah, it was a disappointing fantasy football <laughs> week for both of us. I think I'm gonna put my fantasy teams on a bye week for like the next five or six weeks because they're terrible. I had two weeks of like highest points and then I had the bye week blues this week. Oh, but, you know, man. it's all fun. So. Yeah, it's still fun, we enjoy it. But today we're gonna go check out uh, Ossateague Island. Yes. And this was recommended to us by our friend Steve from Tuck and Roll RV Living, who uh, you guys probably remember, we actually caravan with those guys for a while. And um, he grew up in this area where we're at right now. So he texted me once he found out that we were in this area and uh, shot me some things to go do. So this Ossateague Island is actually a national lakeshore. So we can get another passport book stamp today. And it uh, houses some wild ponies apparently. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to go check it out and um, bring you guys with us. Yeah, we're going to do a scenic drive. Scenic drive because we still can't really do the e-bikes or hiking well, quite I yet. Can't. She can do some walking. So we're probably going to do a little walking on some of the walking trails. But yeah. we haven't been to an island in a while since like the Keys, I think. Is that yeah. the last time we were on an island? Probably. <sighs> Man, we're ready for some island life. Yeah, Arizona didn't have any islands. <laughs> <laughs> no, not even close. Well, Mackinac Island. Oh, we forgot about Mackinac right. Island. We were just there. <laughs> we haven't been on any islands in the East Coast right. for a long time. Here we go. <laughs> you got the old uh, passport book? Yep. It's been a while since we it got a has. stamp. Since, uh, what shoreline were we on? The uh, one up in Michigan and right. on Lake Superior. That was the last The painted rock. Pictured Rocks. Pictured Rocks. Yeah. National Land Shore. Shoreline. Shoreline. Yeah, that too. Huh. <laughs> there we go. Another one down. Another one by to dust. But we're thinking about making a switch. So then I'm going to have to stamp that one too. Might be switching to this bad boy. Is this one's after our hike in the rain, it's been a little, it needs not a little love. Good. But it, should we Should we grab one of these? Yeah, we might as well just It's actually it. not too bad, 30 bucks for that, so. All right. There you go. Did you find your magnet? I did. Let's okay. see. Let's see if they have Let's see if they have I don't know if it's got the horses on it. It does. All right, we got our new book, our new passport book. Jen's about to put the very first stamp in it here at Ossateague Island. Um, so here we go. I'm nervous. It's not upside down, right? Nope. <laughs> I've learned my lesson to feel for the little mob. All right, we're starting a new legacy. Yep. Our first one will get archived because it's, uh, I don't want to say it's full, but it's got quite a few stamps in it and it's starting to fall apart. It's starting to fall apart <laughs> from a couple hikes in the rain. Yeah. Should we make this a new lunchtime view spot and go grab our food? Definitely. This is beautiful. It is beautiful. There's the bridge we're going to go across. 
And then that's actually Assateague Island over there, so. Ready to see some horses, hopefully. Yeah, it's what they say in the movie, it's a last protected shoreline. From Massachusetts to North Carolina, undeveloped. Undeveloped, yeah. Undeveloped. So. Nice. That's kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah, well, luckily we got this to explore. Yeah. Let's go grab our lunch. Yeah. All right, we're at the South Beach, this very southern part of the island. A couple things to note, they actually have campgrounds here. Yeah. Um, we'll get some footage of them on the way back out, but it uh, looks like there's a state park that has a campground, which we haven't been to yet, and then the national park has a campground. And we actually think we could probably fit. Might in actually be able to fit in a couple spots. spots. Yeah, so one other thing, you can actually drive your vehicle on the beach here, but you gotta have a permit and they don't do day passes. <laughs> they only do annual passes. Because we were like, oh, we got the Jeep, perfect. We can go drive on the beach, but we're only passing through, so we're not gonna pay for an annual pass for something we're only gonna do once. But if you're gonna be in this area for a while and you wanna drive on the beach, then it might be something to look into. All right, should we go check out the beach? Yeah, let's see if we can find more horses. <laughs> So it's almost November, so we're clearly we're here on the during the off season. There's not that many people here, but I can about imagine during the summer this place is probably packed. Yeah, we uh, when we were driving, we said they had like lifeguard stands that they weren't obviously on the water. They yeah, were they pulled already pulled off them already, back. But I bet it's pretty popular for uh, swimming and stuff. I see some people fishing up here, so this is pretty neat. Got that? No. <laughs> also, they allow pets. Oh yeah. Well, at least there's tons of pets out here, yeah. so Axel would love it. Oh yeah. 